and welcome back to my channel. This is the next in the series of my videos about learning to fly. Lesson 10. Okay, so I didn't do a video on um, on lesson eight because I caught the um, GoPro in my elbow when we were doing the um, checks and had no usable video. Lesson eight was actually um, pretty good. Cruise, uh, cruise climb, cruise descent. And it was the first part of the lesson we're going to do today in lesson 10. This time we're going to again do a cruise climb to get us up to um, altitude but then we're going to do standard descent 70 knot descents and look at how the flaps impact on both the descent and the climb then we're going to do a side slip later on and at the end of the lesson do a setup for the approach uh, go round in preparation for circuits enjoy Our Golf Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot Sierra at April November with information Lima. Two personnel on board request departure clearance and taxi. the aircraft with uh, pedals, maintain the runway centre line. Once the aircraft reaches 60 knots, gentle back pressure, allow the aircraft to lift off. Again, maintaining the runway heading, dashboard on or just above the horizon to settle into a 70 knot stable climb and then trim. stable trim 70 knot climb uh, right with the yoke balance slightly with the right rudder and then to a stable right hand climbing turn Cruise climb, the workflow is right to left, mixture rich, uh, throttle to maximum, check the car peep is off, just a gentle back pressure on the yoke to um, just allow the climb, maintaining the cruise speed and um, enter a gentle climb to 2500. You uh, get to 70 knots, allow the aircraft to settle into a 70 knot descent and then trim for the stable descent. So now we're going to look at the effect of the flaps. So first stage of flaps, gentle forward pressure just to maintain the stable 70 knot descent. Second stage of flaps again has the effect to slow the aircraft down, so slight forward and just allow the aircraft to settle in to maintain uh, the 70 knot uh, descent and then the reverse. So back to the first stage of flaps, if you can get the flap lever to move, 
um, and then just gentle back pressure just to maintain the 70 knots and then zero flaps flaps up and we're back into again stable and 70 knot descent and then we can level out and don't forget to turn the car beat off when you increase the revs to level out Once back to cruising speed, adjust the throttle and trim for level flight. So the climb workflow is right to left mixture rich throttle maximum check the car beat is off pull back on the uh, yoke so that the uh, dashboard is on or just above the horizon we just saw a little bit of traffic there there's a helicopter coming from the left but um, we had therefore right of way So now in the climb, first stage of flaps, allow the aircraft just to settle forward to maintain the 70 knot uh, climb. Second stage of flaps will add um, more resistance, so slow the aircraft down. So you need to allow the aircraft to settle forward. It's pretty much a level flight in this aircraft with uh, the second stage of flaps. And then the reverse. First stage of flaps, again allow the aircraft to settle and then flap zero, flaps up and the aircraft uh, is back into a stable 70 knot climb at, uh, at the standard attitude. So the go-around procedure is everything forward, right to left. Um, once the aircraft is level, first stage of flaps. And as we come round into a stable climb, 70 knots, uh, flaps up, and maintain the 70 knots. So for the side slip, power to idle, car beat on. Full right rudder, I mean full right rudder, balanced with a left hand yoke, and that will put the aircraft into quite a steep uh, descent, uh, side slipping because it will increase significantly the drag um, on the airframe. And then to, um, to recover from that, uh, again, straighten up with the yoke, straighten up with the uh, rudder, and uh, power to cruise. remember as you come to cruise you need to make sure that you turn the car heat uh, off so 70 knot stable glide descent we are a little bit high so we're going to land pretty far down the runway but next time we'll sort it out allow the aircraft just to uh, stabilize and settle in hold it off in the glide for a gentle uh, touchdown. Okay, that's all I've got for you in this video. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe if you want to be notified when videos are uploaded. Leave any comments, I'd love to hear from you and I'll catch you next time.